Yes, ma'am. Okay. I call the regular meeting of the Millican Board of Trustees for October 12, 2022 to order. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Will the town clerk please call roll? Trustee Beckman? Here. Trustee Dean? Here. Trustee Lane? Here. Trustee Wakeman? Here. Mayor Pro Tem Ehrlich? Here. Mayor Austin? Here. Okay, does anyone have any additions or deletions to the agenda? I'll take a motion. Need to approve is printed. Second. Town clerk, please call for a vote. Trustee Dean? Yes. Trustee Lane? Yes. Trustee Wakeman? Yes. Trustee Beckman? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Ehrlich? Yes. Mayor Austin? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Do we have any citizens comments tonight? There are none, we'll just skip right over that. Are there any uh, comments or discussion around the minutes of the September 28th meeting? Everything look good, I'll take a motion. Motion to approve minutes from September 28th meeting. Second. Town clerk, please call for a vote. Trustee Lane. Yes. Trustee Wakeman. Yes. Trustee Beckman. Yes. Trustee Dean. Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Ehrlich. Yes. Mayor Austin. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, we now have the town administrator's report. Administrator Powell. Yes, thank you, Mayor. Um, I don't know if a lot of you have noticed our public works crews have been out um, busy cleaning up the residual weeds that are in town and cutting down suckers that are in alleyways um, to make easier passage for some of our snow removal equipment this winter. Um, also in the ditches um, along Alice Avenue, they, um, all the suckers have been growing uh, you know, from the last time they were cut down earlier in the year. So just trying to do some cleanup. Um, the town hall fire alarm system passed inspection by the fire department. So yes, yay, we have fire alarms in town hall. <laughs> um, asphalt patching will begin on October 22nd. Um, I'm sure we'll be putting items out on our Facebook and website pages, letting people know where. Um, we've hired a locate company um, to locate the abandoned water line along Highway 257. Um, hopefully the line is usable for the length of the run um, to the Mad Russian subdivision. Um, if it is, um, it'll save us a lot of cost in the future for a fiber line. So um, we are working on that. Um, next Thursday, I think, is when they're going to be out. Oh, tomorrow. So tomorrow they will be out. <laughs> <clears throat> Staff will be meeting with the Hillsborough Reservoir um, uh, project consultants on Monday, October 17th, and another meeting will be held on Wednesday, November 2nd with the stakeholders of the Hillsboro uh, Ditch and Reservoir Project. So I'll keep you apprised of what's said. The, the federal government has hired a consulting firm to conduct their own feasibility study. And my understanding, once we go through this process and they come out on the ground and see what there is, um, they should be able to give us some sort of um, head nod or not in January, whether they'll do the project or not. So keep our fingers crossed. And again, last night, um, as the mayor indicated during our work session, we attended the kickoff meeting of the Long Range Task Force with our E5J school district. Um, they will be five or six more meetings and we will continue to bring you updates on those. That's it. Any questions of the town administrator? Nope. Nope. Well, thank you for the report. You're welcome. So now we'll move on to the consent agenda. We have two items. It's consideration of approval for the IGA with the City of Greeley for victim assistance and consideration of adoption of resolution 2222 to amend the meeting dates for November. Do I have a motion? Move to approve the consent agenda. Second. Second. Take your pick. I <laughs> gave it to Trustee Wakeman. I heard her first. <laughs> okay. 
Pass. Town, town Clerk, please call for a vote. Trustee Wakeman? Yes. Trustee Beckman? Yes. Trustee Dean? Yes. Trustee Lane? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Ehrlich? Yes. Mayor Austin? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. All right, the first item on our action agenda is the acknowledgement of the receipt of the 2023 proposed budget. Wade Nickerson, Finance Director. Good evening, Mayor and Trustees. Um, the uh, action item is an acknowledgement of the receipt of the 2023 budget. Uh, this is um, a proposed draft of the budget. Well, we will continue speaking about it uh, prior to the public hearing that it'll be scheduled for November 9th. Uh, and then uh, assuming everything goes well, we'll do final adoption of this budget on December 7th. Uh, we do recommend approval of this acknowledgement. Okay. We'll go with questions of uh, Mr. Nickerson, starting with Trustee Dean. I don't have any questions at this time. Trustee Beckman. Did you say November or December 7th and 9th or 9th? Sorry, no, November 9th, we will hold a public hearing. Okay. Uh, and then December 7th is the okay. uh, required adoption date, no okay. later than. Thank you. No questions. Okay. Uh, Trustee Lane? Uh, no questions. Trustee Wakeman? Uh, no questions. Thank you. And trust, uh, Mayor Pro Tem Ehrlich? I have no questions. And neither do I. So uh, okay. discussion's been going fairly smoothly, so I'll take a motion to accept. I move to acknowledge the receipt of the proposed 2023 budget. Second. Town Clerk, please call for a vote. Trustee Beckman? Yes. Trustee Dean? Yes. Trustee Lane? Yes. Trustee Wakeman? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Ehrlich? Yes. Mayor Austin? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Easy. And you're up next with uh, consideration for approval and authorization for the mayor to sign agreements with the Enterprise Fleet Management. Wade Nickerson, Finance Director, again. Yeah, the, this uh, item, uh, we talked some about this during the budget. Um, the idea is to get our small vehicles, our, our explorers, our pickups, our police vehicles, get these on a lease. Um, we discussed this. What these leases are is this is a master lease agreement that'll <clears throat> allow us to do business with Enterprise, um, as well as two maintenance agreements to uh, help, um, I guess, manage the maintenance on these vehicles. Um, one, one agreement is for is for the full maintenance on the vehicles. Basically, we take them in, they bill Enterprise, and we move on. Um, the other one is a management um, maintenance, a maintenance management agreement, which allows us to um, decide what we want to do and what we want them to do. It's kind of, and that's going to be more for the public safety because sometimes those repairs are. A little more expensive when those vehicles get damaged uh, and so it's a lower cost to the town um, and we get a little more say so in how we handle those uh, so those are the three agreements um, town attorney gold and i um, went through these very uh, thoroughly um, the amendments that are included in those uh, were the changes that were requested in, in enterprise um, in, included those amendments so that we get Colorado is our jurisdiction versus uh, Missouri. Uh, that's one of the things that we really enjoy is we want to be able to fight for stuff here, here in our own state. Uh, anyway, but yeah, with that being said, the first year uh, we're going to get 10 vehicles. Um, the cost is going to be about 198,000. We've included all of that in the 2023 budget. Um, what these agreements, uh, why we're bringing them to you now before the budget is passed is, is that if, uh, if the board approves this relationship, we need to, uh, get our name in the hat to order these vehicles, um, early next month. Um, the window is open for about three days. And so we need to get our name in the hat. Uh, and so that's why we're asking for approval of these leases with no money being spent, um, until after it's all been approved in the budget, uh, for next year. Um, and I'd take any questions on this. Okay, trustee, uh, questions from the board, trustee Wakeman. Yeah, um, so 
I'm, I'm thinking about what our goals are in um, uh, doing the lease, and to me, the obvious ones are, is it um, cheaper for the town of Milliken? So, so uh, I'll, I'll, t I'll kind of repeat the goals that, that we discussed before. So over a 10-year estimated raw that's that would be doing all the vehicles two times um, it will say it's estimated to save the town uh, between 200 and 250 thousand dollars over 10 years so about twenty thousand dollars a year in savings um, the second piece is, is we get lower maintenance costs lower fuel costs because we get more we get newer more efficient vehicles uh, we get newer vehicles that have the safety features that we really do want our staff utilizing uh, you know you get the backup sensors you get you get the multiple airbags you get the stuff that that our 2002 vehicles do not have um, so i think those those are the main goals is, is number one it's cost saving number two we get a better we get a better product for our staff to get their jobs done right and in a safer manner <laughs> and the downside is there any so i i'd be remiss if i said there was and i think the downside is is there is an additional cost because the person we're doing business with wants to make money okay so we're going to lease a vehicle and and there's a cost to that above and beyond purchasing the vehicle I think that's more than offset by the benefits. The benefit of the idea that we don't have, we will get to the point where we don't have any vehicles that are over five years old. We, we're not gonna have to maintain vehicles that are 10 years old. We're not gonna have those types of things. And so I think the, I think the um, additional cost is well worth it. Um, the maintenance cost is extremely low, like, you know, hundred and, Twenty dollars a year per vehicle, and that will will run through one hundred and twenty dollars a year per vehicle pretty quickly just by doing regular maintenance on them. And so I think that I think that the cost savings will offset uh, in other areas will offset the actual cost of the vehicle. And these vehicles are going to say Town of Millington on them. They're not going to say Enterprise. <laughs> okay, say what? They're, they're not going to say enterprise they'll say town of Millington. no these will be these will be uh, a typical they'll you won't be able to differentiate them from another uh town vehicle yeah. uh will they'll have um well our insignia on them our decals on them it'll have the police vehicles will have lights will have um the lights on the vehicles yeah it'll look just like any other Millican vehicle thanks for re reiterating all of that Wait, because yeah. I think it's important for the public to know yeah. why we decided. Yep. Okay. Uh, Trustee Lane, any questions? I just thought of this um, with the huge push to go electric and all these companies saying that by, what, 2035 or 2040 or whatever, that they're going to go, they're going to get rid of, of the combustion in the engine, which I think is nuts. But... Have we thought about having to bring in power stations and things? Is that even in the thought process of, of a possibility that we might have to pay a lot of extra money for that kind not, of? Not in my thought process, no, sir. Have they mentioned I anything? I don't believe with, that they've come up with a come up with an electric vehicle that'll uh, that'll tow a. 12,000 pound trailer yet. So until they do, then we'll have to, I believe we'll have to start thinking about that. Okay. Um, right now, some of the vehicles that we're gonna get this year will be hybrid vehicles. Um, okay. Just because those have sort of proven themselves. Um, but yeah, I think at some point in the future, we will need to address that. But I think that's more than five years out. Um, and if we continue with this program um, we'll get the vehicles that are required by 
you know, whomever's requiring us to get electric vehicles or whatever they are, uh, we'll, be able, we'll be able to run them through the enterprise program. And I assume that some of those costs, like the, the, the costs for the charging stations and stuff like that, uh, we'll have to figure that into the costs. Okay, I was just curious if that had come up at all in the conversations. It has, but um, it, like I said, as of right now, there isn't a viable option for many of the vehicles that we have. Um, and so we're not focusing on it, I guess would be maybe the thing. It, it, it's okay. in the, I, I, I won't speak for all the staff, but it's in the back of my head that we will have to address it at some point in the future, but just, it's just not right now. Okay. Thank I haven't you. seen an electric police vehicle yet. <laughs> I might be wrong. They could but. sneak up on you. Pretty, they could be pretty sneaky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The first electric fire truck. Yeah, I mean, it's a good question, and it is coming. I just don't know how soon. Yeah. All right, thank you. Okay, Trustee Dean, any questions? Um, no, I don't have any questions. Trustee Beckman? No. Mayor Pro Tem Early? I have none. No, I think you've covered it pretty thoroughly in our work sessions. Uh, so it's pretty clear to me. Um, there's no further discussion. I'll take a motion on the matter. Go for it. Bueller. Uh, I move that the board approve the proposed agreements and authorize the mayor to execute them on the behalf of the town. A second. Town clerk, please call for a vote. Trustee Dean? Yes. Trustee Lane? Yes. Trustee Wakeman? Yes. Trustee Beckman? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Ehrlich? Yes. Mayor Austin? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, Mr. Nickerson. Okay. Next up in our discussion is our written reports by the police department. Chief Garcia. I have a couple questions for you. So, our code enforcement officer, uh, Montanez. Montanez, yes. Sorry, a little difficulty pronouncing there. Apologies. Uh, he's been with us, what, two and a half months now, I believe? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Uh, in the beginning, I saw him working a lot with Officer Flores. Was that his training officer? Yes, I was part of his, um, his training, yes. Okay. Well, kudos to Officer Flores for doing such a great job training our code enforcement officer. Just wanted to make a couple of comments about um, his monthly report. Uh, very detailed. Clearly, he's out patrolling quite regularly. Um, he has shown some latitude in issuing warnings, and then he has good, clear follow-up dates here. So he really seems to be organized and on top of things. And I know when I've received a couple of citizens' complaints, they were taken care of promptly. So. Uh, I just want to congratulate him on doing such a great job for our community, and I have noticed an improvement in some of the uh, properties that had gotten a little out of control. So, well, thank you, Mayor. I'll pass that information on to him, and I'm sure he'll be watching the, the board meeting tomorrow as well. So <laughs> thank you. It's good to hear. Thank you. All right. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Any other comments from the board? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, did you have a follow-up question? No, I just um, wanted to remind you we were to talk about uh, those uh, trustees that attended other meetings. Oh, do we have any trustee reports from other meetings? I actually have one. I attended the TRPR meeting. Was um, I told them my purpose in being there was to improve communication between um, our board and and their board and um, they were glad to see me glad to see um, our interest and um, you know they were were reviewing their capital outlay um, expense for the coming years what what they're seeing coming up and um, it was a very good meeting I enjoyed it great Thank you very much for your update. Any questions of Trustee Wakeman? No. Oh. Okay. Uh, at this point, I'll take a motion to adjourn. So move. All in favor? Aye. 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 
Opposed? We're out. Thank you. <laughs>